Thank you all so much for being here this evening. I want to start tonight by recognizing two very special guests that we have with us, Congressman Smith and Congressman Lipinski. We want to recognize you both. This is a night for heroes and for recognizing heroes in the life movement, and the two of you are both heroes of mine. We've come through a rough battle over the last few months. Congressman Lipinski, you have taken the slings and arrows and stood tall, and we are very grateful to you. Chris Smith, you have always, you have stood long and tall in the saddle, and we're grateful to you as well. Um, I'd also like to recognize two of our board members who are here, George Weigel and Ed Grant. Are you all? They were in this direction. Cheer Over by the bar. <laughs> Over by the bar. Thank you very much for being here. We're also expecting later Congressman Poe, Cable, Coble, excuse me, Franks, and Congressman Fox. So we thank them for being with us tonight as well. Let me start with a quick story for you that I first learned when I came to Americans United for Life. In Cincinnati, there was a young girl who was 13 years old playing on a soccer team with, a, with an adult who was her coach, and she became pregnant from that soccer coach. The soccer coach took her to Planned Parenthood in Cincinnati, and against the Ohio laws that require notifying a parent, they gave her an abortion, patted her on the head, and sent her on her way. Fortunately, eventually her parents did find out and that man ended up going to prison for sexual battery for many years. However, Planned Parenthood, as you all know, has a real pattern of this kind of behavior of just running roughshod over the pro-life laws that our movement has worked so hard to pass. And what I discovered when I got to Americans United for Life is that there's a lawsuit going forward in Ohio on that case to hold Planned Parenthood's feet to the fire. Plan Americans United for Life is involved in that case, and our client is John Boehner. It's not just that one case that John Boehner has joined to take a stand for life in Ohio. There's another case at the state level where he has lent his name and his position of leadership in the United States House of Representatives to defending pro-life laws at the state level. That's not the glamorous work of pro-life movement. That's not something that gets him a lot of accolades. And I, when I first heard this story, I said to myself, we've got to get this story out there that little by little, inch by inch, we are making progress at the state level, and we are so grateful to John Boehner for standing alongside with us, even when there's not huge headlines to be gained from it. He was taking a stand over the years um, in something that wasn't getting him a whole lot of credit. Then coming forward, over the last six months, we've had a tremendous battle here in this city. We've, we've faced the biggest expansion of abortion since Roe v. Wade, and I'm very proud today to say that John Boehner was there fighting every inch of the way to stop that terrible, terrible thing. When it came time to go to the White House and meet directly with the President, there was one man who stood up and said, this is a terrible, terrible thing, and we have not funded abortion with federal funding in the past, and that's what this bill does, and that was John Boehner who did that. Then it came time to have the vote on that bill, and it was a terrible night for all of us. But I tell you what, in every movement, there are going to be setbacks. There's going to be times when the vote doesn't go your way. And the question for the movement is, when you face that setback, is it a setback or is it a defeat that really, really sets you back on your heels? What's the difference when you come to that moment? What's the difference between having a really crushing defeat and a moment where you are galvanized and you move forward towards another day and towards ultimate victory. The difference is leadership. You have to have someone at those moments who stands up and says, this will not stand. You have to have someone who's willing to take that moment of leadership and to seize it. And that's what John Boehner did. As we were all just feeling such grief that night, there was one man who stood up 
and looked at Planned Parenthood and their allies in the United States House and said, shame, shame on you for doing this. Shame on you for doing this. And that man was John Boehner. I am so proud tonight to recognize him for seizing that moment to galvanize our movement and to give us a vision of standing against, standing against federal funding of abortion and showing us that there will be a way forward, there will be another day, there will be another vote that we will win. Leader Boehner, thank you for standing with us and it is really my great honor tonight to give you Americans United for Life's Henry J. Hyde Memorial Defender of Life Award. Thank you very much, sir. There, I'll let you hold this. All right. <laughs> uh, let me say uh, thanks to Charmaine and to uh, all of you. and the work that you do on behalf of uh, the pro-life movement. Uh, Henry Hyde was uh, one of my heroes. In uh, 1990, when I was first running for Congress, I uh, came to Washington to do, you know, that series of cattle calls you do around town, let people know who you are. I was in a race I couldn't win. Uh, but Henry Hyde uh, agreed to see me, and I wanted to, I wanted to see him because he really was one of my heroes. Uh, I'll be all right. Calm down. I'll be all right. <laughs> uh, you know, I've been in the state legislature. Uh, you know, I've worked with a pro-life movement uh, during my time in the state legislature. And, uh, you know, in, in this movement, in our movement, there's nobody bigger than Henry Hyde. So I wanted to make sure that Henry Hyde knew who I was. And it was really a great meeting because uh, when I got elected to Congress, uh, we became very good friends and, and worked together closely over the years uh, that uh, we were there together, which was about 16 years, as it turned out. <laughs> this will be great on your video. <laughs> and it'll sound good, too. So I got this microphone on. It's not for all of you. It's for this uh, video. Uh, but I just want to say, uh, uh, Henry Hyde really is a hero. And... Uh, to get this award tonight, uh, named after Henry, is really important. I want to thank uh, I want to thank uh, Americans United for Life for all the work that you're doing. Not just all the work I saw during the healthcare battle uh, over the last uh, six months or so, uh, but all the work that I've seen over the years in working with uh, members uh, to uh, to develop the pro-life writers that we had in the, in the appropriations process uh, to stand up for what we believe in, and uh, the work that's being done today in state legislatures uh, uh, around the country. Today, Tennessee's governor's uh, governor signed uh, an abortion uh, or a pro-life exception uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, Obamacare. And I just want to assure all of you one thing. Uh, while we may have lost uh, uh, this battle, uh, we will not lose the war. <laughs> You know, Americans don't want their taxpayers, go, their, their tax money, uh, going to funding uh, elective abortion around the country. And, uh, and the American people are in, in nothing sh short of an open rebellion about what's happening here in Washington. Uh, I said it last week. Uh, I said it because I meant it. Uh, there are 100 seats in play in the House. Uh, we, can, we can change the House and we can change this law. Uh, we can repeal it and replace it with common sense reforms uh, that'll that'll actually lower the cost of health insurance in America. Uh, I don't want to make a long speech here, but I, I have to say this: uh, I don't know that how many of you know that I have 11 brothers and sisters. <laughs> what <are> you say? <laughs> <laughs> And my dad owned a bar, for God's sakes. <laughs> uh, but I know it wasn't convenient for my mother to have 12 of us. Thank God I was number two. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure glad they're all here. Thank you. Thank you, sir.